And the last report is uh, the constructability report, which contains constructability issues. Uh, so with the constructability manager, uh, I created uh, four constructability issues after a clash detection. Uh, those constructability issues contain descriptions, uh, a status, and uh, uh, an information, information about trades involved. Um, and for some of them, I also, um, or for all of them, I created or I saved viewpoints. For some of them, I also created a, a snapshot or a, a screenshot, and then I used a, a tool to mark up that screenshot, saved it as, on the clipboard, and I pasted it in. So both types of images can be included in that constructability report. This is what the report template should look like. <coughs> uh, so the header is the same. Then we have an area that's called construction constructability issues. And the images uh, are in a collection that are gathered using the image sequence band. Okay, let's go into the report editor. I will uh, copy this report to have the, the same header already. So that's how you can reuse information and don't have to set up everything uh, every time again. And this is going to be constructability report. Select edit from the context menu, maximize that, and I will get rid of the things that I don't want to use, such as the components band, I'll just completely remove that. And I want to insert a band that is called, or insert detailed report, which is called constructability issues. Then as with the takeoff items, there is a, a nested band, which is called the image sequence. So if I select that, uh, the report editor will iterate through the collection of viewpoints and snapshots. So that's what this band will do. Um, let's put in a table, formatting into RL like this, and I want uh, four rows uh, with each. Uh, let's see, I'm going to delete this cell. Insert a row below, and another row below, and yet another row below. And I want to make that wider so that it fits on the page. I can get rid of this. And just make that zero. And this is going to be uh, my uh, ID. The next cell is going to be uh, my description. Then I want trade involved and time found. Then oh, actually, I want to move that to here. Trade and uh, I would like to include status insert. Right. I can include status and severity. Okay. So this is going to be the band that contains the header information. So I want to give that a different layout or different formatting. And the same applies to this one. And bold. So these cells will contain my text. Let's go into the field list. I'll maximize that so I can see everything. And uh, we'll start with the ID. I'll drag and drop that in here. So that is now linked to the ID. Description, put that in here. Status, drag and drop. Trade involved. Time found uh, over here and then the severity that was defined in the constructability manager as well. Maybe tweak the width a little bit. And that is really the uh, basic information that I want to include. Now I also want to include the images. So first of all I want to have a header that matches the um, the table. Uh, so I'll just 
draw a new table in here and remove two of the cells. So I have a single cell table. That's like the whole thing. And I make that match this width. It's properly aligned. And I will call that images. Make it bold and change the background color. So that is now the same as the section above. I will enlarge this a little bit so that we have enough space for the images. And I'm going to use the picture box that we use for the logo as well uh, to create a placeholder for the images. So this is number one, and then I need another one. And I want to make sure that those are the same size. Uh, so I'm going to use the make same size function over here. All right, now the only thing left is to align them. That's done. These are empty placeholders holders right now. And what we want to do is uh, tell these images, or the image placeholders, that they need to iterate through the image sequence. So the collection of images that have been defined for each constructability issue. And I'm going to use the image sequence number one for the left, and the image sequence number two for the right. As with the logo, you got to make sure that it fits correctly. So the sizing has to be zoom image. That way you're sure that the image is sized to the placeholder. And the same thing uh, for the right one, of course. Zoom image. And what we want to do as well is uh, make everything a single page. Uh, so to do that, I select the detailed report bend, and then open the property grid, and um, define the page break, which is uh, after the bend. After each bend instance, I want to include a page break. So that way, uh, I can make sure that um, each uh, constructability issue has enough space. That's all we need to do. To make it look nicer, I'm going to move this to the page header, so that both the logo and the, uh, and the text. And that way it is included on each space, and I'm going to add a line as well. To get a separation between, in between. And that is our report template. Click Save. And print preview does not work for constructability issues because the images, the, the, the views, are updated dynamically. What I need to do is save that. Uh, it is updated dynamically uh, from the viewpoint, so therefore you need to exit the report editor and go into this view, then right-click and say generate. At that point, uh, the constructability issue information is uh, included in the report. So what you see right now is the process of generating the images. Descriptions are here. Uh, the, uh, the, the trades involve the time found as well as the uh, viewpoints that I saved. So in this case, uh, that's one. Um, then uh, for some of these issues, I also saved a, uh, an image on the, on the clipboard, uh, which is, for example, here. This is uh, when you maintain your constructability issues in Office, uh, generating these reports becomes really fast. And uh, again, with uh, filtering capabilities, you can say uh, only include those constructability issues that, uh, that have a, a number that's larger than a certain value, so you don't have to uh, generate the report over and over again, or based on the timestamp uh, that you also have available. 